Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survive now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. This game used to be more fun. <coughs> and you used to be younger. I <laughs> dumber. What matters is you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. <clears throat> Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. saying if you're starting to worry about someone it means it's time to go
heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. they had each other. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there. Underneath all that pain and disease, I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Uh, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz. I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we're celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador? I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city and its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... 
<laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. Let's roll. Uh, this is Aiden, over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. Uh, I guess I have to wait until morning. There's a fox being. What fox? They've been extinct for over a decade. Probably some biter jumped him and he's talking crap. But his marker's glowing green. Well, he's already infected. What do you expect? Still, you keep an eye on him. No, man. If they just cuff crawl, they'd solve Lucas's murder real quick. This business with Lucas is fucked up, but you can't take your anger out on the bazaar. They're coming from one of those bazaar idiots. Well, I was surprised. Them. Are we running or what? 
like now? No, when we're old. No, AD. We need supplies. Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. We'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. I don't know. Fuck. Maybe the PK's grabbed it. So, he's either passed out drunk somewhere, or is torn apart by Alphas. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. Can you help me or not? 
Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. You're right. Fucker bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. We must get through the light quickly. Where's me? Uh, oh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear! I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk? Uh, you like to see you do that? Bring it! Uh, Aiden, come. Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You, you were going to tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fisheye. There, ask for a girl named Lawan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. Oh, they're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run. We'll go together. Take this. Right, let's go. Let's get the fuck 
fuck out. Tahir, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You we... idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Still on! Fuck. Get to the vent. This way. You first. Can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! I... Fish high. The one. Go! Damn the traitor! Uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. Let him go. you betray me this key is not yours you can't where is it in here this is the end. I'm sorry <sighs> getting misty not really you're only dying before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I loved them dearly. One day, his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. In the bed! Get him! is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. A what? I... He's fucking turning! Kill him! Quick! No! Hang him! Let's watch the fucker die! Get him, damn it! Get him! Fuck, what did I do? Fucker!
He's moving. Hack on. Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. My head. Oh. You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I, I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. It monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you'll turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine. Hey, you're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, hack on. She adores me. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I'm a I was a pilgrim. I... An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. It's a nice place. Don't get comfortable. We don't need another roommate, especially one that could rob us while sleeping. Not every pilgrim is a criminal, you know. Uh-huh. You have a nice workshop here. Assembling UV lamps, huh? Yeah. You shouldn't be here. Hakan's risking our asses. Do you need Yana to put the hurt on you again? I'm sorry. I guess it scared you, huh? Felt better after I hit you. Or even. Yana. Aiden, what is this place? Our home. Our workshop. Our whole world, you might say. You're nicer than she is. Hey, back off. Sarah doesn't trust anyone but me. Besides, I'm a better fighter than she is, so I can afford to be more open. Hakon's waiting for you. <laughs> Not bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. 
I could help you, but you need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys, but one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> and welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. Come on, come on! Stop! So, you have an army here? Ugh, the peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. Uh, they are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. They're pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. On the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the new order. It always seemed like the same old shit to me. Yeah, it's like that here too. And the PKs are getting worse. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar, folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure, follow me. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I'm looking for someone, someone important, and uh, this should help me find her. But where did you get it? It's better for you not to know, believe me. If you say so. <sighs> Fuck me, we took too long. Plan B. Run like hell!
Biomarkers. Didn't you hear? Behind us! I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Fucker! Open up! Here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy! Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! Took over my body this morning and get killed! Damn it, Gillian! Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh come on! Stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to. Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, hack on her? I gave him an inhibitor. Survive. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. Oh, motherfucker. The hospital then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, hack on? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hack on. Why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure. Higher fucking causes. And you could just cook. You and Hakon, you known each other long? Too long. What did he mean when he said that you used to help people? We served together in a special 
Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Ancient history. Biomarkers. Why are they so hard to get? Because they're complicated devices. Hell, the factories that made them have been out of commission for years. Biomarkers are key to blood. They can't be reused after someone sinks with it. Without them, the infection runs unchecked. Like what's happened to you. That's why people pay a fortune to get a new one. All the money and crystals they have. Fortunately, me and Hakon found a place where they can still be made. What's wrong with Hakon giving me inhibitors? Kills most people in seconds. It's a powerful drug. Most can't handle it. But I survived. I said most. So don't get excited. Just be careful with them. Where can I rest? So you just got into town. What brought you here? This ain't the promised land. Far from it. I need to get to the fisheye. And Hakon's helping you get there? You seem like a good kid, but... Take my advice. Don't go doling out trust like penny candy. Hell, how do you know you can trust me? Okay, enough jabber. Go to sleep. Nothing to be done till morning anyway. funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. Fuck. Oh, some help. There you go. That won't work. Shh, let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. That's a bad idea, Mia. If it was a good one, it wouldn't be fun. What are you doing? Mia, not on the wall. Stop talking and give me your hand. Aiden. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Talk to me. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. There was a guy here named Walt. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Oh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. 
Yeah, thanks. Sleeping beauties. Yeah, we have to walk past them. If you crouch and move slow, they shouldn't notice you. Get too close, and you're done for. You probably know that already. I do, yeah. Be careful. It's not stable. Come on. I guess so. <laughs> Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. <clears throat> I can't make it. Scared, Mia. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Aiden. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. <laughs> don't be a chicken, Aiden. Let's hustle, Aiden. You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. Fuck. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the night fast.
it was close. Well, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. Roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there will be time for that once I find her. Once you find her. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things.
look familiar. Yeah, the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. Sometimes if you stay out too long, I can get the thing. Barney the said it would. Hey, Hangman, how's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Just cause you got him. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julia, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! That's the pilgrim? Now, what do I so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Give me a break, Matt. Not a big deal. 
Looking at all the dead people? It says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague. But given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially. No one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city. Abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim, everyone fights for themselves. Man, I'm so thirsty. How can it be? Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. 
there's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. You, Hans. What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip. Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Wait, whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Like, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I built some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see, 
they were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water for me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian. I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. What's that? Aiden! What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? Though, I hear not many pilgrims can claim one of those. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. A man has died. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It, it wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, you, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Yeah, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. During the March massacre. I ain't leaving the bazaar. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved mink stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved mink stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Well, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot tempered. Even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the peacekeeper's base.
So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports? A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? Well, 
When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And there are that many fewer survivors, and that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So. Will you help me? So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learn not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. 
If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information, and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden. Hey, man. Where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital in our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim! You got it. It takes balls to wander off-road like that. Do you have alcohol? If you're lucky, like me. Found this bottle in a basement while on patrol. Hey, so you got patrols covering the whole area? Someone's gotta do it. City's got us to thank that it's even still standing. What, you wanna join us? What would I need to do? Complete the training. Hard as fuck. Not everyone can hack it. Don't need weak links, you know? Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Come on, do it. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm. Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Aitor doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Aitor said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day, he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. You Hubert? Nah, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too, so get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey. You Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? 
Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Shouldn't you? Yeah, sure. Wait. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, it used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. But someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. He got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. 500? Are you crazy? Besides, why do you need so much money? What planet are you from? We don't have water, and water costs money. Maya, it's dangerous. Do you want the PK to arrest you? Give it to me now. All right. Nobody wanted to buy him anyway. Cut myself on him, too. Hey, Hakon. I have the Lazarus. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Oh, you're always so negative. 
The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it, turn me on. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A uh, heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Nara said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hmm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Nara wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Nara, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Apparently you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Inevitably, something new crops up. Well, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Oh, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. 
Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Hey, Ader, got a minute? You telling me you've already figured out who the murderer is? Not yet, but I have other questions. Just be quick about it. Do you know anything about a man named Walt? A long time ago, when I was a soldier patrolling the streets of the Central Loop, I ran into a renegade squad. I was alone. Scared, but I stood my ground. They almost killed me. But their leader stepped in, told him to stop. He looked me in the eye and he said, why is such a brave soldier on Matt's leash and not mine? When you wise up, come to Williams' stronghold. He gathered his squad and then they were gone. It wasn't until later that I found out it might have been Waltz. He wanted to recruit me. You mentioned you wanted to go back to the Central Loop because of your family. Yeah, they're everything to me. You know, since Lucas's case got stuck, I've been wondering, is it possible that my obsession with getting promoted, taking more missions, that I neglected my family? Ah, never mind. Almost everyone under my command has someone in the central loop. Everyone wants to go back there. Was Commander Lucas a good leader? Too good. Sometimes I even wish he wasn't so competent. What do you mean? You know, he's a tough act to follow. You might have heard that not all of my men value me. But once we find the body, everything will change. I'll regain their trust. Ader wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. 
Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Are you easy, Chief? He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. So is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No, but you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, yes, I see. 
Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about him. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. 
For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriant. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Seriously, there's no time for delay. I'm so thirsty. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Not a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, Give him the password, Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. How dare they close the passage? Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Oh, wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the sourpuss. Uh, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom, both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Sophie has interest Mandarin deal. Make sure the place doesn't break down. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits. 
Who? That fellow. Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A uh, hundred and twenty... A uh, hundred and... <laughs> that... Can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Shop elsewhere. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. The fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Barney, do you hear me? Report in, Tammet. Sophie, Satan, I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't do even... Kids, don't be out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Great.
Barty. Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Maiden, can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. All thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Bernie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Bernie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her.
Seriously, there's no time for delay. Sir, hands are very smart. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Oh. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. 
Krall and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Fuck! Fuck! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! Hey, slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. 
Do you think killing Messrs. Cock and Kant will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Pilgrim! That thing! Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... She said... Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, not working with the... It's broken. That... Uh, oh. uh, Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. 
We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. He lost something? <laughs> you won't find it here. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. Finish the looking. Pilgrim? Oh, it's our brave fucking Pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers! Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your derrieres! I'll rip out your brains! Then your hearts! Uh, Humphrey? Your eyes will pop out of their socket. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! Be your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, 
People won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. or help apparently the peacekeepers are watching us well let them see what happens to jack and joe and that we can do it to them too well you said it was time to act we're acting i sent three scouts towards the camp carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building probably asleep there are a few entrances to the camp the front one suicide it's got the most guards you go in first we'll move in from the other side and then we'll catch them in a pincer movement if anything goes wrong we retreat to our base where the tango motel Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie, are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go now. No time to waste. Aiden, I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck you. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! 
Guardy, you there? Sophie? Corporal Kaminsky, are you there? <laughs> this is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! Figures. I'm looking for Sophie. Sophie! Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! Where do you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Aitor. Let's keep in touch. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! Aiden, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Aitor promise you? If it's not you, who could have killed him? I wonder myself. Certainly none of my people. If you find out who did it, tell us. I'd like to hug the guy. Lucas deserved to die. Live too long as it is. We didn't have to kill him. We have our own plan for getting the peacekeepers out of the bazaar. Adu promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? If 
fine. What's the plan? Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Goddamn tower, I swear! I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up in the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Poe. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone? I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The Pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now! Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... you did this? You pay for that. Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck. That's... That's human skin. Hakon. I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there. We still ain't all right. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs>
going on here for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. With your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me. This is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the... Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UD lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first... We have to blow up the windmill. And fast. Before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. You, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. This new armor of yours, it's flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fierenstein! 
Peter shows a great protection. This is top craftsmanship made from the finest quality material. Built from... Uh-oh, uh I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oaks took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop. The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Virador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Okay, so... The windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Ator can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Mack, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again. And you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay. Go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. Finally put our plan into action. Honestly, I'm with this ridiculous blockade at the center. I demand to speak to Carl. Go away, Nerese. Why won't you help me? You are worthless, heartless, selfish, and... Everything all right? No. Everything is not all right. Please. It's my boys. They've gone missing. I haven't seen them for hours. Mo is 13. Scotty's 16. Please. Yeah, boys their age do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but... Oh, my birthday's coming up. It'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. 
I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. Sometimes they play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. You're planning a surprise for my birthday. Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night, someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? What? That's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? If you'll be near a shop. Uh, thanks for the tip. Shit, Eagle, that was some fight. The PKs ambushed your transport? They searched everyone and everything. Eventually, they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly, something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on, maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs> Where's your father? There you are. Only two? The PKs took the rest. Damn, damn it, triple damn. Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger. We must act quickly. No, oh, nitrates. We need fertilizer. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, a foe, it depends. Killian, you know him? But Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... How to... Uh, uh, I know the way. Thanks. Bye. I... Oh. I brought the fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as pie. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do... Me and you will do... <laughs> no reason we won't do just... And... Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? Uh, 
I know how much this means to you. Interferes from the wind. Uh, it doesn't look like it did much. The windmill's still standing. I mean, look, the rotor's still spinning. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. I'll have it fixed in a flash. Get here. Giving you an armed, um, uh, uh, armed. Uh, uh. We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. Mm. It'll blow any second. Run! But where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back! And? And plant it on... Uh, place it on... Put it on... Uh, plant it... Plant it where? On the generator? No! Not there! Right in the middle of the windmill? I can finish my own sentences! Thank you very much! On the rota! You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? You serious? The bomb's ticking, Aiden. You really think we have time for jokes? Hello? Hey, Alberto? You sons of bitches. What have you done to him? When... What? No. That's... what I call... a boom. <laughs> I got my... boom. <laughs> you, you, you got them pretty good, huh? And we, we got them good. Without you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90, uh, 90, uh, even, ah, uh, man. I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. <sighs> Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. <coughs> I 
thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to a Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <coughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, his, his old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that. That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakon. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry. Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive. So it was Carl who betrayed them. The Butch is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombing. Yeah, I'd call that a wrap. All cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. We see some action soon. You're free. I thought it was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. And the death of two million people. Hey. Aiden? Hey, don't be scared. It's safe now. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So where's Vincenzo? Aiden, watch out! <laughs> Rosa! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Cut! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on! 
You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. I'll tell Ader there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Calm down and fight, and stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! <laughs> We have reports that Ader's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Ader withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar, and I promise. We will defeat Ador, and I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> you know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None, because they're too dead to screw anything. <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a fuss kill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So... Where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you and because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You? Go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK, and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bazaar family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hack on. Hack on. Uh, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. And where are we at? Ah, Waltz! Fucking hell! Uh. Calm down. Just let me see. Let me see. Ah, I'll help. Fuck! Wait! I'll help. Ah. Show me. Relax. You're gonna pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You say you killed Lucas. If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah, I thought he was a better fighter. Ah! The fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Waltz, he ordered the kill. You're working with Waltz and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Waltz would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. 
So what if you find out something about, about your sister? Waltz will kill you. Where is he? Where is Waltz? Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <sighs> really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. I know, I fucked up. Let's leave it at that. Shit, he dropped the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece. Hunting Hakon. Uh, who's this about the killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over wait. yet. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah. Just what I needed. behind door number one. Hey, you, you don't call, you don't write, and it was such a promising friendship. Waltz ordered Lucas's death. Detective Aiden won't rest until he solves the case. You expect me to believe you? Why would I? <laughs> because Waltz is here. Hang on. Boys, search the tunnel. Why would Waltz have Lucas killed? To weaken the PKs, to put a wedge between you, spread chaos. I don't know his plans. I fucking hate politics. <clears throat> and you picked the wrong side. What else is there to discuss? Aider, Aider, they're attacking the headquarters. Bizarians, they took the metro station. What the fuck? Come on, grab that door. This gun did it. Oh, fuck. Quiet. 
warned you, Aider. <sighs> the electricity's off. We need to find the fuse box. What's going on here? Who turned it off? Who do you think? You're gonna be a smart ass now. <laughs> I'm just saying, let's get him. Hmm? Well, you can't escape anyway. Okay, search for the fuse box. There should be a utility room nearby. Hepa, check the other entrance. You two search that tunnel. It's a maze, but if Waltz is hiding here, he had to leave a trail like any slug. You're gonna pay for Lucas. <laughs> Still on Jack Matt's leash. Save it for your trial, just before they cut your head off. Do you really <clears throat> think that's how this is going to play out, Lieutenant? Lucas's death was just the beginning. You admit you had him killed. Take him. Why does his death bother you? You're not enjoying your new role? New status, new challenges, new possibilities? Don't I deserve a thank you for making this possible? Nicely put. Now enough of your crap. Cuff him, Pepper. I'm glad you finally joined us. Shut up, Walt. Now, give back what you stole from me. Give back the key, boy. Or you will all die. Fuck! Pepper! What are you waiting for? Kill it! to pretend he's a grown-up, but he's no grown-up, just a precious little boy. Found it. What's happening to me? What happened here? I'm in the car factory. Over. The key. Walt has the GRE key. This is it, Waltz. I'm coming for you. I'll do it right. You're one of my curious. Good. Before I kill you, you'll get a chance to witness something spectacular. Everything comes full circle. We return to the beginning. And now, you will witness history in the making. History? 
Five years old. He told you kids. We were kids. You were part of something greater. You owe it to me that you are still alive. That you are stronger than others, special. That you are stronger than I could have imagined. Yet not as strong as me. Any last words? What have you done to my sister? Sister? What have you done to me? Aiden, you're alive. <laughs> Now talk. Who the fuck are you? I'm Aiden. And you? Why are you helping me? Show me your arm. Come on. I won't bite. Well, not hard. We have something in common. I was one of that crazy fucker's subjects, too. Mia? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. We were in a GRE place together. I have to find her. Well, if she's alive, she must be pouring herself for water somewhere in the city. What? Not that I'd blame her. What are you saying? The fuck you! Whoa, Gadja. Sign of the times. The world we live in. Just saying. I have to find her. Well, first, let's fuck out of here. Not sure we managed to ditch that psycho. Do you have nightmares about what he did to us? All the time. That's why I want to kill the fucker. Waltz is number three on my list. So, Waltz experimented on you? When? How long? When? It's blurry, the time I spent there. But I was a lucky one. Managed to run after a few weeks. I don't remember you. I'll take that as a compliment. Those who do don't usually have fond memories. Most prefer to forget me, if they survive. Yeah, but you ran. Sort of. What about the rest of the kids who were in the hospital? Oh, man. Someday someone will write a book about it. And it ain't gonna be a bedtime story. Most of them are gone. I ran across one guy, though. He'll sleep with a knife in his hand for the rest of his life. In the refrigerator, he converted into a shelter for himself. That he'll never leave. We didn't organize a therapy group, if that's what you're asking. Wait, you got a hit list? <laughs> Seriously? Do I look like I'm kidding? The city's got a lot of trash, and I'm the maid who's gonna make it the capital of cleanliness. Uh, who else is on it? Besides Waltz, Butcher, Hathon, and... You know what? It's a very long list. There's a few small fries that deserve a bolt between the eyes as well. And by whose authority are you doing this? <laughs> you kidding me? The highest court of justice in the land. My own noble authority, your honor. And you? What were you doing with that bastard hack on? You'll have a hard time believing this, but he saved my life. When I came to town, I was infected. Yeah, no biomarker. People at the bazaar wanted to hang me. Sure, I'd do it myself. But he got me out of there. Got me a biomarker. Can't believe he duped me. He dupes everyone. Like everyone. I trusted him once too. Really? Tell me about it. 
Maybe someday. But my story is similar to yours. He tricked me, and people died. Better forget about him. Or do like me. When you see him next, make sure you have a crossbow and a bunch of bolts handy. Okay, enough chatting. Let's go. <laughs> Bossy. I like that. We gotta go. Hakon, why is he on the list? Because he killed Lucas? No. I like those blue puppets, the PKs. But no, I don't give a shit about Lucas's death. And why then? That, my dear, is a long story for another day. Let's just say everyone on that list deserves a headshot, and Hakon deserves something worse. Fuck! This was always open. We're locked out. <sighs> Fucking great! This is a GRE facility, isn't it? Oh, man! It worked! Where did you get that? You know Dylan? How do you know Dylan? <laughs> no is an overstatement. He contacted me because he wanted to escape the city and waltz. He was frightened. Something must have happened, or he found something. What could he have found? I don't know. He knew I was in touch with Frank, but then Dylan just disappeared, stopped making contact. But Dylan gave me this before he died. Waltz killed him. Fucking... So he got him after all. Also, Dylan told me to find someone named Lawan. You know who that is? Maybe we were meant to meet each other. The universe brought us together for some fucked up reason. What? I am the one. Dylan wanted to contact Frank. He said the PK commander, Lucas, found something. Something Waltz had been looking for for a long time. He wanted to escape the city so that Waltz wouldn't get it. The GRE key? I have it now. <laughs> Probably. Lucas died because of this gizmo. Dylan, too. Watch out. Or you'll be next. It's valuable. For Waltz? Better not lose it. Look out! Oh, what's going on? Impossible. Waltz must have switched on the generators. But Waltz? But why? Don't have a clue. Who knows what's in that fucker's head? Come on. <sighs> Hurry! Ladies and gentlemen, go off the train is delayed. The Metro service is sorry for any inconvenience. Please mind the gap. Thank you for your attention. You're fucking welcome. Hurry, Aiden. Seems we have a clear path to the central loop. I was sightseeing. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, shit, look! Light's here, too? Fuck. It's all right It's up. fucking unbelievable! Oh, come up to the roof! Damn it. I was wrong. Can't see shit. I really thought it'd work. We were fucking duped. Uh, well, um... At least it's peaceful. Yep. That's why I come here. And I'm pissed off. So a lot, believe me. Look, Aiden, they're back on. <laughs> they're fucking coming back on. <laughs> you see that, Aiden? You see that? It's beautiful. Oh, I can't believe it. No, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Oh, I see it, Daniel. I'm at a
to look at Point, and it's quite the show. How's this happen? Dark as hell for 15 years, and suddenly this? I don't know. Don't know. But we need to find out. Then drop by the canteen and let's talk. Been missing you like last year's snow, Loka. While shotgunning beers and screwing bartenders. You know me. It's a gift. <laughs> we'll meet you there, dumbass. I think something's wrong. No. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Fuck! What the hell's going on? So that's the fish eye. Okay, how do we get there? The fish eyes gotta wait. You gotta wait? But why? We need to check the substations. One's over there, level with the PK tower. What about the fish eye? Listen, I want to help you, and I will help. We'll do this together. But you have to understand, it's the first... It's been the same situation for over ten years. Ten years of this fucking darkness. We gotta check this out. How do we get to the substation? It's an old paraglider. It'll help you get to places you normally can't reach. Just follow me. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> For a rookie. <laughs> it's easier than it looks. I still can't believe this is happening. I think Walt's turned the power on somehow. But why would he do that? He's never helped anyone. Why would he give people power back? Are you sure it was him? He used the GRE key in the car factory. I think that's when everything lit up. That makes sense. Years ago, the military took over the plant to secure the energy cells on the hills. But I had no idea they could still be made to work. And power half the city. Keep an eye on that key, Aiden. Hell knows what else can be done with it. We better hurry to the substation. Get going! Okay, from here it's not far at all to the substation. Go there and activate it. On my own? <laughs> You're a big boy. You'll figure it out. There's another one near the metro. I'll check that one. If we get one or both of these working, it means we can activate all of them. Hey, but how do I activate it? It's not rocket science, Aiden. Those are old systems. I guess we need to make sure fuses and cables are working. Seen any signs of renegades around here? No. See, Private? Now calm down and let Aglod think. What's there to think about? Why not head back to base? Who the heck are you, anyway? I'm someone offering to help. I'll check what happened to the power. You know anything else about it? That's top secret military information. We're trying to figure out how to get up there. Just go ahead and tell him everything, why don't you? Every last detail. Well, what's the big secret, huh? We need to get this piece of shit working, that's what. My colleague's vastly oversimplifying things, but his gist is correct. There are obvious signs of the electricity having returned, and this here appears to be a substation. It and others like it are capable of transmitting electricity throughout the city. We have orders to get this building functioning once more. Meaning, turn it back on. Unfortunately, without climbing equipment, access to it is severely limited. You want the electricity for the peacekeepers? What would you do with it? Plug shit in. What do you think? The gentleman here must be asking how it would affect other people if the control of power is in the hands of peacekeepers. The answer, however, is relatively simple as well. Whoever controls the power controls the city. I got it. In any case, I don't need equipment to get up there. I can climb up there without the equipment. You'd be willing to do that? You'd be doing a great favor for the peacekeeper. Uniform! Take what? Electricity! Brings all the lights up! Just wearing! What was fire. that he said? I think it was something about his mother. And a goat. PK morons! We'll be taking that electricity. Thank you very much. Kill him. 
What about you, bud? Who taught you how to fight like that? Name's Aiden. Hey, you guys know this one? What do the bullets say to the man that got shot? Just passing through. Yeah! <laughs> you sever his limbs with a machete, Nitaf. Technically speaking, that's a melee weapon. While bullets are reserved for... I'm glad you're fine, too. Your friend wasn't so lucky. Yeah. Lately, they've been sending them fresh out of a real shortened boot camp. Or without any at all. Recruits. Cannon fodder in Central Command's eyes. That's enough, Nitaf. Watch your words. Right, of course. So, how about it, bud? You still want to climb up there? Not for free, of course. Uh, we reward specialists fittingly. I don't have time like now. If you need any help up there, give us a holler over the radio. Aglot's good with electronics. However, from here, I can estimate the level of damage done to the apparatus. Aglot's got a knack for electronics. I'll look around. Yeah. Have you seen the one? Of course. I see her all the time. Oh, wait. You mean like today? Sorry. Got mixed up in all the excitement. Hey, looking for the one? You know how I can find her? She was just here. Boo. Still didn't break your neck? Good. This him. The gajo you were talking about. Damyar, I've heard a lot about you. Huh. Haven't heard a thing about you at all. Do we have to see Frank? To Kandano, Raki Resa Aja, of Chinwe Chibiasa. Back off, jackass. What are you talking about? That Levant's friends are my friends. Daniel says that to get the power flowing, we have to reactivate the other substations. on but the cables couldn't take it 15 years took a toll atrophy musculare means juite untrained muscles wither come on frank's room is over there let's figure out why waltz turned it on in the first place good talk gajo better watch your back what are you still doing here One thing about Frank. Do you see these people? Anywhere else, they'd be savages at each other's throats, but not here. Here, they stay calm, cool, and collected because of Frank. They respect him because he was a night runner. Everyone here owes him something, including me. If it wasn't for Frank, I wouldn't be here. And where would you be? In a dark zone as a biter? Or in some den, high and about to get higher. Frank will help us. You can rely on him too. Trust me. Ready? Let's go. Frank! They slaughtered us. One by one like fucking rabbits. Frank? Frank, it's me. Wake up! You? What the fuck you doing here? Interrupting my conversation with... Ravik's been dead for years, Frank. 
pull yourself together. We got a visitor. Uh, who's that? Queen of fucking England? I gotta act old Danny now. This is Aiden. He has the GRE access key. Waltz used it to turn on the electricity in town. Working GRE key? You're full of shit. Show it to him. Where'd you get it? Uh, from one of Waltz's men. So you want a Waltz's men too? Hey, easy, Frank. Aiden is on our side. We think this contains data proving what they did to us in the hospital. Uh, so you still believe you'll find out why Waltz fucked up your childhood? Okay, I'll tell you. Ready? Uh, yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. He's fucked in the head. That's your holy grail and Ark of the Covenant all in one, Loan. Happy? Aiden, right? You and Loan can get the fuck out of my face now. I got more important things in my mind. <sighs> it would have worked if that fucker had showed up at the TV station. You were right, Ravik. Fucking traitor. Without him, we were like kids with slingshots going up against tanks. We're not finished here, Frank. This contains info on someone I'm looking for, too. I need to know how to read it. It's a fucking key, not a diary. You can use it to open doors, start the electricity, but it's useless on its own. You need some place to stick it. And before I tell you where you can stick it, get out. You're giving me a fucking headache. Ravik, you fucking bastard. Why did you come back for this mission? Everything went wrong, so many people. So many wonderful people. Luan <sighs> says only you can help us. Luan tends to run at the mouth. And you know what? It's mostly bullshit. She's a junkie I picked up from the street. Understand? You don't believe me, ask her. She'll tell you everything herself. So what the fuck if we got to that floor? We were in a pile of shit. Not even close. Maybe this tower is not being won and will not be won. You understand? We're all gonna fucking die and then it'll be cool. You'll shut up too. I didn't come this far to let you blow me off like this, Frank. You came all this way to talk to little old me? Well, laddy fucking daw. Congratulations. You're a bigger loser than I am. Now get the fuck out of here already. See this Ravik? He can't piss me off almost as much as you. Shut up! That doesn't mean you can talk. Fuck Ravik! Stop making excuses for this traitor! Denying what's happened. Frank, damn it! Come back! Fuck off, kid. While you're fucking off, take Luan with you. I'm done. Luan, it seems we're done here. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Waltz turned the power on with this key for the first time in years. And I doubt he did that out of the kindness of his heart. And you don't give a fuck? Frank, get your shit together. You were a legend. Fucking commander of the Night Runners. Do you even remember that? That Frank is dead, Luan. He died with the others at the TV station. Why the fuck would Walt turn on the power? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. But if you're looking for the GRE database, you need to find a terminal to access it. The thing is, I... I have no idea where one could be. And those who knew are... probably long dead. But, the good news is, we'll probably be dead ourselves soon enough. Cheers. Now, get the fuck out of my quarters. <laughs> Fucking drunkard. Check. 
I'm right behind you. To all units, renegades are in the central loop. I repeat, renegades are in the center. They're surrounding the fisheye. Can anyone hear me? Over. in the area. Yes, Commander. You. You all right, boy? Jack, man. Come on, Frank. You all right? I saw you fight. What's your name? Aiden. If it weren't for you, a lot more would be dead. Come on, boys. Search the area. Sir, I have a question. We're looking for a GRE database. Most GRE equipment has been dead for years. What do you need this database for? With your knowledge of the city, you know GRE places inside out. Aiden and I need to find this database. Will you help us? Luan, he's your friend. <laughs> Aiden? You could say that. I've never heard of you, Aiden. Where are you from? I'm a pilgrim. I came from outside the walls. So you've seen a lot. You probably came through old Villador too, right? All right. What do you want to know? A lot has been going on there lately. We lost our commander, and the Bazarians tried to cut off our power source. They say most of our people have been killed, either by the infected or by those from the bazaar. I also lost contact with the new commander, Aitor, and his unit. Know anything about them? We found Walt, but he overpowered us and escaped. What? Where? In the tunnels, near the car plant. Walt's decimated Aider's squad. I, I barely managed to escape. I shouldn't have left them like this. We need to find out what's going on there. As for the GRE equipment you're asking about, you can ask Lieutenant Rowe. If something's working, he'll know about it. Lately, he and his unit have been securing the Culver Island and New Dawn Park areas. But because of the Butcher's raid, we had to go radio silent. So you have to look for him yourselves. If you find him, give him these. What are they? Orders for him and the other units. Move it, boys. Let's go. Come outside. Let's talk. Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? Huh. Don't you wonder sometimes what they gave us to make us like this? Stronger? Rather, fucked in the head. But yeah, fucked up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose them, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. And Jack, the commander. Do you trust him? Jack Matt? He's a smart guy, but a bit of a narcissist. What do you mean? Well, he's only a major, but refers to himself as Commander-in-Chief. But he gave us Rose location, and a chance to find the GRE terminal. I don't care about the rest. What about this Roe guy? You know him? Roe? Too fucking well I do. 
He's a great commander. And a fucking hothead. For some reason, people say we have a lot in common. Once, Jack sent his squad to a spot that turned out to be a dark zone. People panicked, and they probably wouldn't have made it out of there. But Roe kept his cool, makes them all back out, and suddenly starts banging a stick on some barrels, attracting the motherfuckers. It was a suicidal plan. But the vital thing was, it was a plan. That's what makes soldiers think clear again. If the Nightrunner still existed, Frank would have recruited him for sure. So, uh, Frank, he's not exactly the most reliable source of help. You don't know what you're talking about. He was a Nightrunner. Even though these days, he can't even say the name properly when he's drunk. Aren't the Nightrunners ancient history? History can repeat itself. For good and for bad. Legends can't. Say what you want. I believe that when the time comes, if the time comes, Frank will rise to the occasion. Who knows? Maybe he'll even invite me to join the club. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. Hey, Luan. You should know that in Old Villador, I, I came into conflict with Ader. I blew up the Peacekeeper's windmill, and we really don't like each other. <laughs> Are you afraid they'll figure out what you've done? Didn't you hear what Jack was saying? Take it easy. Nobody has contact with old Villador here. And even if there was someone, by that time, we'll have already found what we're looking for. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Rowe. And I'm Rowe when Rowe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? W what do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. Hey, if I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The renegades sent a whole detachment to the fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? Not just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to them and tell them I'm on it. Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Leave me alone, please. Hey, I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. Roe and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. And lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hey, get the rat here. Be careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? 
Hey, we're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Rome? Uh, camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. Uh, there's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again. taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's elves have brought us. Withdrawal. Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five. Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen. I'm just the messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here, and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important if idiotic business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. Fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database. And you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out or take care of it here and now? Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic. A butcher. And a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. Given up? Are you deaf or dumb? 
Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. <clears throat> this was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list, they'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden, I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. Sayonara. Luan, yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. What just happened here? And, uh, what did they serve them today? Halt! Biomarker! Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. Commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm, he's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Any questions? Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. some famous war hero. I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Looking for things? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father.
I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ah, uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Aider's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Don't Summon the medics. Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Stephen, no filthy herd grubber will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you've got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong. But he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. 
Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, what does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers. When they could be helping people, then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb, despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have had him for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! Wait, I, I need to check with somebody. Make it fast. Hey, Luan, you there? Aiden? What's going on? Do you know anything about recluse petals? Petals? There was something... Wait, Frank told me once. Some were medicinal. Which ones? The small ones. The small... The, the small ones heal. That's what I remember. Thanks. I was afraid someone might have misled me. Aiden, what's going on? 
I'll tell you later. Sorry. So, what are we gonna do? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Matt does not forgive the renegade. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Aitor. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? 
Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden, given how easily he could do it. Destroying the city isn't his goal, not all at once at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake, so the good people of the city become steeped in fear. As he sits there, in his high throne, in white motherfucking gloves, and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating, so the people know the true enemy. Then, we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck, then. Can I help? What the hell? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan? The VNC Tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. <sighs> what happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide and seek the last few days, and he's late getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Go. Our chances to get some red games are pretty good. Chewed out by Raider himself. He 
took the effort to do it personally. Come on. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Hey, Luan. Hey, then. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to Supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Br Excuse me. Yes? What are you reading? Carnival of the Sad. Into bondage, are you? Um, afraid not. People trying to tie me down? Bad memories, no. No, of course you're not. But don't worry. Maybe you'll grow into it one day. Why don't Juan and Jack Matt, uh, like each other? Because Jack Matt wants everyone to be like Jack Matt. And I, for example, want everyone to be who they want to be. Maybe that's why Juan and I get along so well. After all, the world has ended, yes? The rules have changed. So I do what I want, and don't ask anyone for permission anymore. Gotta go now. Au revoir. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm hmm How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? 
who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing. A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Turning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pop and that? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come you don't have a Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even if it's a while. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else, bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there by a paraglider. That's why there's a chance something's left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Luan? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. 
truth. I look at you and I wonder, who were you before all this? Good call. We really didn't want to hear him sing. Believe me. Who was Roe before he became a tough-as-nails peacekeeper? A father and a husband. You were a father? I lost my kids at the beginning of all this. I, uh, I tried to save them. I almost did, but at the end, I was the only one who survived. Now I'm alive with regrets. How, how did they... Infected? Worse. People. A group of raiders, typical bandits of the time, tried to take our food. I wasn't gonna stand idle and give up everything we had. I had to defend my family. I was proud. Stupid. Outnumbered. I didn't... For the follow-up. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. <sighs> Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. Nightrunners fell. Frank started to drink. Gave up on life. On himself. <laughs> so... I'm not a Nightrunner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gajo! Here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink! For me, and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started? <sighs> Gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Now get lost. It's my birthday. isn't he dear care to join more the merrier no thank you oh if i embarrassed you i'm sorry i do have that effect on people i'll wait for you but make it quick 
I must admit, I admire your persistence. I'm almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single mom. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So, I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. It's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute, and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, 
We can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing's half the battle, kiddo. Well, you know where to go. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Yeah, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Right. Oh, great. Hmm. The cables. I've got to find a source of power. Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? It's some old spy tech. I need it fixed, that's all. Is that all? Well, I have no intention of helping you. Oh, God, seriously, weren't you just begging me to kill you? That option is still open. Kill me or kiss my ass and leave. What do I care about your problems? We know nothing about each other. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. So, um... Who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. Wait, what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto. She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck.
You have it? Good. Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. There. All fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like, uh, know, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? One? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, pull them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. So much for the power of positive. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Hey man, there isn't a high time we put this shit before a firing squad. Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So... You plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? 
This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the BNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tosses. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm wounded, you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. Oh, you don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Ro. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Ro's men will secure the perimeter with lamps. You got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Why would you even say something like that? Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen, or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden. You there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Bro. Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. 
If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and led the others astray. <coughs> who was that? Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rap, <coughs> past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is. That was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but how can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now, fuck you. Frank, pull yourself together. Luan told me to ask you about the tower. What do you want to know about that, hello? I'm gonna climb the VNC tower. What can you tell me about it? That it'll kill you, you idiot. You will die like everyone else. Like all of my friends. Frank, help me. How can I get to the top of the tower? You can't. Nobody can, not without power. Got it. Electricity. It's your only hope. Sure the power's on. The power's starting. Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy. Get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Hmm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. <laughs> Fellas! <laughs> Think he'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. <laughs> Electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and. Oh, fuck me. It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it and get out now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. says in my dog tag. 
Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it wrong. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. You're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. I ain't crying. Fuck you. Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Now well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> So, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. Now, we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> huh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about him. Yeah, he traded his official PK night for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean the latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. Just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra, so I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass, and I get all the pussy. All your mothers, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ro sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then... The rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys' screams for miles. 
Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Wow. You rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned a renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13. I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here. Let's roll! You expect us all to fit in here? A little snug, ain't it? Aiden! You're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan. Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say a peep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, 
Sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. Boys, you heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Aiden! Oh, you survived. I thought you were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't, Aiden. Don't you think you should wait for that potato medal I promised you? What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog text. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please... Take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Here. The transmitter. Thirtieth floor. The infected. They... Yeah, Frank. I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. 
Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better train men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. Juan gets what he wants, and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need to find this GRE doctor. I see, Aiden. You've uh, made your choice. Over and out. Now I just have to connect the bug to Jack's transmitter. Job's done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys, their deaths will not be in vain. Don't think I've forgotten, Aiden. I'll see you soon. As soon as the elevators are back online. Juan, I did what you wanted. You did the right thing. You chose common sense and empathy instead of fascist pipe dreams. What about your part of the deal? Don't think I've forgotten, Aiden. I'll contact you soon. Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today. You made it. Hey, it's good to see you, too. Ugh. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm... Um, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry? I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> Shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair.
Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden. My soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers? Now, is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan... Uh, you said... I... Ah, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. Luan, <laughs> you look almost, almost happy. <sighs> Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Does he still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Come on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! your sneakers you should also have this I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together why do you think he's so high on my hit list yeah at least sense 
Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Mmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I'm... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See whatness <laughs> There. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks... Within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden about the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine, but you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big, but when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward.
You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now. Good night, Eden. Luan, are you there? <laughs> That's odd. Luan, come on, you hear me? Don't worry, she'll be back. A night beneath a canopy of stars is never forgotten. How did you... Luan, if you have spies, why do you need me? <laughs> because teaching a pilgrim to spy is easier than training a spy to jump across roofs. If you're such an expert spy, then give me the information I've been after. Of course. In fact, your GRE doctor is hiding in Old Villador. But come to the ship first. I'll tell you the rest here. Just get on with it, Juan. Let's drink. Best vintage I've got. My most expensive damn bottle. Don't refuse. A brute like you has a taste for the finer things, after all. So, the bug on the transmitter is working now. And do you know what it's revealed? Only half the lands I delivered arrived at the VNC Tower. Half. The rest have taken a stroll to an undisclosed location. We need to look into that. Look into what, Juan? We had a deal. Relax, Aiden. Everything is under control. We'll investigate the lamps, and in the meantime, my guys will keep looking for your GRE doctor. I don't give a shit about lamps. I risked my life. Relax, and listen to me carefully. Some things take time. Tracking down this GRE guy is no simple matter. Just a short while longer. Trust me. I really am doing all I can. And if I'm right, and Jack really is into something, then by helping me, you will also help yourself. What the hell are you talking about? I believe Matt is about to attack the Colonel's stronghold. If we don't stop him, this whole city is as good as dead. Williams will close his sluice gates the moment he spies a single peacekeeper at the dam. He only needs to twist a knob here, throw a lever there, and every pipe in this city, every drain, every gutter, will back up with chemicals that have been locked underground for 11 years. You, me, Luan, Frank, the GRE doctor, even your Mia, if she's still alive. We're all gonna die. And what if you're wrong? What if Matt's preparing an attack? I'm not wrong, Aiden. He goes full on with recruitment propaganda. He talks openly about war with the Colonel. And he orders a shit ton of UV lamps that magically disappear. Mark my words, it will end in disaster. So, you have to help me, Aiden. We find those lamps, we'll uncover what the Supreme Leader is up to. But Matt's not a psychopath, Juan. He's trying to save the city, not destroy it. Matt is far worse than a psychopath, Aiden. He's dangerously ambitious. Before the fall, he climbed the ranks of the military hierarchy with lightning speed, until he ran into Williams. He made sure Matt never got another promotion, cock-blocked him from the chain of command, until finally, the order came to rain chemicals onto the city. That's when the shit really hit the fan. What are you trying to say? That Matt had something to do with the chemical attacks? Matt later claimed he was given no warning by Williams. And that's why there was no evacuation. His own squad was caught in the field. Except some soldiers claimed Matt did get the order to evacuate, but ignored it. Instead, so those soldiers said, 
Matt stationed his men where he'd survived the attack. The result was 300 dead soldiers, five times as many civilians. And Matt found himself hailed as the man who stuck with the residents to the very last. The defender of Villador led the army in mutiny. The civilians joined and war broke out. Williams fled to the dam and mad. He finally got his promotion from himself. So this tragedy was all Jack's fault? Hundreds killed, thousands maimed. Quite the burden to carry on one person's back, isn't it? So what does he do if it gets too heavy? Tosses it off onto someone else and calls him the butcher. Matt hates Williams and the truth about himself. And now, with the renegade incursions into the center, Matt finally has a pretext to attack Williams. He's already gambled the lives of the city once to achieve glory, and he's about to do it again. Okay, so what do you plan to do about Matt? Thanks to what you did at VNC Tower, I now know that the lamps are at the metro station next to the ship. That's our lead. Follow the river, and you'll reach the sea. Follow the UV lamps, and you'll catch Matt red-handed. But be careful. If the Major realizes we're on to him, we'll end up swinging by our necks. And animals will nibble on our guts for months. Subtlety and patience, Aiden. Only they shall save us. The noble art of espionage. Yeah, I'll remember that one. Thanks. Off you go, Tiger. Someone's here. Did something happen? Sorry, Aiden. We can't let you through. I mean, I'd let you in, but Matt gave strict orders not even to let God Almighty pay a visit. Huh, not even God Almighty. The Major talks like that when something's top secret. And it must be if they won't even tell us what's going on. But I don't question it either way. Orders are orders. And I'm just here to follow him. So, no one goes in. Hey, what are you waiting for? Go away! Commander's waiting. Come on, Matt's packing crates into a train. He managed to get it running somehow. Yeah, with the sweat of my men. And doesn't he know most of the tracks don't have power? Try to get in. We'll see where they're taking those lamps. The train left. Huh. He's going for it after all. Yeah. All right, what's next, one? Go outside. I'll turn on the transmitter. Relax. Thanks to the transmitters, we can see where he's taking those lamps. Matt may be cunning, but not as cunning as we are. to it. It stopped at the station. And? What's happening? They're uh, opening the gate. Get into it. Wait, what? Get inside the fucking train. God damn. Hey, Juan, I'm in. Juan?
Yes. The train has stopped. Okay. Three deep breaths. Time to play the spy game. See where they're carrying the crates to. Just don't trip up, for God's sake, or we're done for. <laughs> What? I'm an old villador. There's no sign of the lamps. I don't think... Hey. How'd you end up here? I was in the neighborhood and saw the commotion. I thought you could use some help. You're really that helpful? You came here just for that? Well, it's a lot of crates. Probably heavy. No, oh, Aiden. We might not agree at times. Nothing wrong with that. But the key is to respect each other. Do you not respect me, Aiden? Are those the lamps that were supposed to go to the TV tower? Yeah. And you sent them here. Why? Putting our cards on the table. I like that. I'll satisfy your curiosity. I have nothing to hide. I don't like losing. And in old Villador, we lost. I intend to fix that. Which means... Isn't it obvious? We're securing the power plant by the car factory. Electricity is a strategic asset. You must understand that if it fell into the renegade's hands, we'd be in real trouble. I see. Already? So, curiosity satisfied. Go away and don't bother us. This doesn't concern you. One minute. Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? How's life? Better, now that the PK finally stopped bothering us. I'm even thinking of starting my own business. I know a bit about weapon design. I could start making and selling them. Sounds good. And, uh, how's Sophie doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's major news. She's the big boss now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. After all that happened, folks finally realized we needed a real leader. I'd say things have turned out the way they always should have been. Well, good for her. And for all of old Villador. I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in old Villador. First, we braced ourselves for another battle, but they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End, Courtesan Row Street. But you didn't hear it from me. And you? Why are you here and not with Vincenzo and the rest? I wanted to be, but Sophie talked me out of it. Said something about not wanting them to have to deal with my attitude. What attitude, for fuck's sake? I have no idea. Okay. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. <sighs> Thank God. Ooh, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No, but we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Juan Rayner, he told me you worked for the GRE. 
I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. Aiden, you're probably on your way to meet Veronica Ryan now, but I figured it out, baby. Figured what out? Matt's reloaded the load. He must have more trains. And he's operating somewhere in old Villador. You're paranoid, Juan. You see conspiracies everywhere. I know you're going to Veronica. But if Matt is shooting the moon yet again, if he attacks the dam, Williams will force the chemicals to burst from the ground. You realize that? It will kill everything and everyone. You, me, Veronica Ryan, and your beloved sister as well. You understand? Help me. Thanks for the offer, but you're fucking nuts. I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You. I remember you from the bazaar. Had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades. Why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? Why are you helping me? Are you looking for something in the database as well? Aiden. Those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died because I was a part of it. I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like what you discover? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. How did a GRE doctor wind up at the bazaar? By not letting anyone know I was a GRE doctor. After the revolution, the GRE were blamed for the disaster. Personnel were rounded up and... Executed. People used revenge to relieve the pain. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work. What happened, happened. Now I'm someone else. How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. 
They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you're probably thinking I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> the blocker is working. Are you all right? See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So what happened here in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation, and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, it's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done.
Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan, director, field labs department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. Was it worth it? I mean, did you even come close to a cure? We were close. But the virus... It finally reached the complex. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him, and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me. Didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid. Scared. Alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go. So, um, I'm going in? Hope you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. I'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Oh, wow. Here we go. Veronica, what's, what's going on? Talk to me, Veronica. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped it along. I think contamination procedure, that can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! I'm thinking. 
Think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the control room. Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. <clears throat> Thank God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. No, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. Were all of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. I will check my name. Aiden. Aiden. There's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but 
Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. Oh, the many gates. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. Bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. If Frank... If Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. God, shit. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. <sighs> You want an autograph? Veronica, get away! Give fucking key! Give it to me! Just run! I'll stop him! Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh Died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. Here. Hurry! Under that rubble! He 
his ear. Aiden, stay with me. Who else got the key, Luan? <laughs> Aiden, you're heavy. Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning... I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. It was me. <clears throat> Walter's experiments. Back then in the hospital, there was nothing in the GRE database about me. But about the drug Ralts was giving us, it had the greatest effect on me. Waltz told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... Not to everyone. What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. How? Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. It was that. Come on. Probably another building collapse. Oh, my God. <clears throat> the Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Walt. He used the key, and that's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Waltz getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. Waltz took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently, he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. No matter what. One. I can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. Okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Juan is looking for you. He wanted me to tell you that he's at Rose Old Outpost. He's not at the ship? Apparently not. His voice was shaking. He said he had info for you about Williams. Maybe you'll learn something new. I... I have to go to the fisheye, check in on the wounded. And Frank, he went out to warn people before the missiles hit. They say he got hurt pretty bad. Aiden, nobody can know about Veronica. Remember, I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack, the peacekeepers, they won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. We got... Hey, what are you doing here? I'm hiding. Matt wants my head and I don't want to lose it. It's one of my best features. But wait. Where are my manners? How'd things go with that GRE database? It was a bust. The information I'd hoped to find wasn't in it. I... What's wrong? Damn. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, no, wait. What's happening to you? 
Oh, something, something bad. Yeah, you don't look so hot. That's why I have to find Waltz. He's got the key. But let's get back to Matt wanting your head with. He found out you were spying on him? Well, not only that. There's something you should know. Oh, don't tell me you had something to do with the attack. You crazy? Of course not. But Matt is hunting me because he blames the Colonel, and that I'm in league with the Colonel. And only one of those things is untrue. What are you trying to say? That, that you and the Butcher were... Fuck! You hear that? We have visitors. Yeah, I'll go check. Stay here. With pleasure. Hey, wait a sec. I, I, I... You'll die, traitor. Do you have any bandages? Why didn't anybody warn us? Why? Colonel. Bandages. Get me more bandages. What about Frank? He's still fighting, but everything is gone. Drugs, water. I will kill them. I will kill Williams and Waltz. How could they have done this, Aiden? Psychopaths. Go on. It doesn't look good. I'm here, I'm here. You're gonna be fine. I'm sure I got the crap in. Promise me, whatever happens, promise that Luan will. She'll be safe, Frank. I promise. Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank? my place to get ready I'm gonna kill Williams and Waltz goodbye Frank and the one the one you there? I'm here. You can't go to the stronghold, Luan. <laughs> Want a slug? I just came here to beg you to stay put. That's it. <laughs> That's it? Just be a friend, Aiden. Can you just sit here with me? Frank, wherever you are, this one's for you. It's hard to think of a better way to remember him. When you say it like that, it's actually really, really sad. Now drink. Luan, I... it's not safe for you to be around me. You know I can't control it. When I was with Juan, I... I almost turned. I'll manage Waltz on my own. You know this is between me and him. He'll tell me what happened to Mia. How to stop my transformation. Then I'll leave. So, this is a goodbye? Sort of. Maybe not. <sighs> Stop talking nonsense. There are UV lamps here. I'm safe. And I just want to make one thing clear, Aiden. One thing. I'm going with you. We'll kill them together. You'll get your revenge. Don't deprive me of mine. Luan, you need to stay away from the stronghold. Why? Because fucking Juan said so? Oh, we'll get him. But uh, not today. Not like that. It's too risky. 
You'll die in there and... <laughs> and why do you care? <laughs> hmm? Spare me your... Whatever that was gonna be. It's okay to be angry. And who the fuck are you? Hello, Mr. Buddha, Captain fucking Yoga Enlightenment. Good to meet you. Now shut the fuck up. Give me back my friend. You talking about me? Or the bottle? I don't want you to get killed. That's all. <sighs> Stop pretending you're my father, Aiden. That was Frank's role. <laughs> I'll miss him. I miss him. Yeah, I know. Are you ever afraid? Like, really afraid? What do you mean? Are you ever afraid that this is pointless? That after all this effort, you won't find your sister? Ever? I'm more afraid of what I'm turning into. That I'll become a monster. Like the ones we're fighting. <laughs> You won't be a monster, ever. Give me your hand. <laughs> I won't bite. Well, not hard. <laughs> Remember? You see, you're like my brother. You'd never hurt me. You'll never become a monster in my eyes. Anyway, don't worry. I won't go to the stronghold. You can relax now. You sure? Yes. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. I'll wait. <laughs> that grumpy old bastard kept saying that I'm the future of the Night Runners. He'd come back from the dead and kill me if I did anything that stupid. To Frank. Aiden? Yes? I'm drunk. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> and I'm sad. Well, let's put you to bed. Okay. Don't leave me alone tonight, okay? Just... Just stay here. <laughs> sure. The one? The one? I need to get there somehow. Hey! Any huh? further! <laughs> Go with us willingly? Don't bother to answer. We're not here to arrest you. 
Execute the traitor, boys. I don't want to fight you, Meyer. This isn't about what anyone wants, Aiden. This is about following orders. You can't listen to Matt. Great idea. I'm not looking to get court-martialed. It was him. He's responsible for the missile attacks years ago. I don't believe in conspiracy theories, Aiden. You know attacking Williams is madness. He's gonna get us all killed. Stop trying to confuse me. But you see it, right? I'm just trying to stop the madness. Boys, shut him the fuck up! <laughs> Get away from me! Get out of here! Take me into the stronghold. You? Are you crazy? <laughs> Just drive. Say everything is okay. I'm here, bitches. <laughs> What's up? You probably want to know what took so long. You on the road? Um, you are? No, not really. I, I kinda, because uh, be right there. It's all good. We'll lower the bridge. Just hurry up, me. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Someone attacked him? Matt? PKs? Fuck! Oh, he better get there quick. Better keep your mouth shut. Stay here. Lie low. Hey, you don't want to meet the woman who did this. You got it? Got it. Lay low. That's me, man. Lost of the low. Wait. And you're Aiden, I presume. Nice to finally meet you. Stay out of this, Aiden. As you can see, we're having a sort of standoff. Call off your man, Williams. Why? So that you can kill me. Trust me, you don't want to kill me. If you do, you'll never stop the next missile strike. Shut up, asshole. Wait, what are you talking about? Let my wife go, and I'll explain everything. I won't leave you here. The one? What's this next missile strike you're talking about? The failsafe protocol I stopped years ago has been reactivated. What the hell does that mean? It means bombs being dropped on our heads to destroy the contamination zone, like in other cities. It's not over yet. Bullshit. He's lying like he always does. You think Villador survived accidentally? Kill me and you'll never stop the attack, Aiden. If she lowers her weapon, will you let her go? What? Aiden, no! You won't be killed. I promise. I don't want to slaughter you. I don't believe you. I don't believe him, Aiden. He's gonna kill us both. Kill him, Aiden. We can't risk it, Luan. Bullshit! Now, if he's right, it's not just about us. More people could die. Everyone would die. Frank would agree with me. Frank is dead because of him. 
All these people? On his orders, Aiden. He could have stopped it. We have to stop Waltz, not Williams. I can't do this without you. I hope you're right. Hey, hey! She won't be harmed. You have my word. Take her to the infirmary. You touch a single hair on her head and I'll kill you all. Understood? She'll be fine. Now tell me where Walt is. I know very little except he was looking for a place called X-13. He talked about it as if it was his last resort. The last resort for what? I don't know. But this is why he turned on the power and in the process triggered the failsafe protocol. The missile strikes? Yes, I tried to stop him, but he didn't listen and took most of my men. Why did you even work with that madman? He's as brilliant as he is mad. I wanted him to enhance my soldiers, and he did. What I didn't know was that he turned them against me and used them to further his own goals. What goals? Didn't tell me. Now, how do we stop the missile strikes? The failsafe can only be stopped with the GRE key that initiated it. And Waltz took it. So, there's no time to waste. How can I get to X-13? It's the main GRE complex they built when they isolated the city. The most classified operations were performed there. You can get there via the GRE tunnel in the central loop. And Waltz is headed there? That's why he sent renegade troops into the center. At least, it seems so based on the notes he left in his quarters. Go look yourself. They're in the West Wing. I'll arrange transport to X-13. You better hurry. Aiden, one more thing. I know that look, son. You were a test subject of his, weren't you? You're turning. That's why I have to find him. So, what are you waiting for? Waltz's chamber is in the west. Aiden, the driver will take you to the tunnel entrance. That should lead you to X-13. Also, about your lady friend. Uh, what about her? She escaped. She killed three of my best men. I have no idea where she is. Williams, if you hurt her, I... I didn't. You have my word. Now go. There's no time left. Soon, the next missiles are going to strike the city. Keep him 
can't get into the tunnel! You all right? Are you crazy? Of course not. I hate blood, especially the sight of my own, for Christ's sake. Renegades killing renegades. Peacekeepers killing peacekeepers. That's where we've ended up. Another attack. Williams was right. Of course he was. We need to get the key from Waltz before he destroys the entire city. Guess now all our fates are in your hands. You stupid, brave, and... Dare I say handsome fool. Watch out. This cloud is a whirling miasma of chemicals. It's likely to kill you. Or turn you into a monster. But it's too late to worry about that one. Cure her? I'm doing what I can, but she's weak, much weaker than the other children. But you can save her, Aiden. You can save her. Looks like they went this way. Uh, so that's where you're headed. I'll find you. I'll find you and kill you. X-13. Finally. <laughs> You should be checking your six more, Gajo. Especially when you're buddies with the butcher. You know I have to stop Walt. You betrayed me! Only to save your ass, and you know it. Don't try and stop me. We can save this city. You, Aiden. That doesn't look good, and you... You're in danger with me, Luan. You know it. You don't understand. Those bastards destroyed everything and everyone I love. Everyone who died in the attack. Frank is dead. I won't... I won't lose you two. I'll be okay. Everyone says that. Look at me, Luan. Look me in the eye. Look at me, Luan. I will make it back. Yeah, you will. Because I'm going with you. Luan. Frank always said I'm real Night Runner material. Let's see if he's right. Ladies first. isn't it? You're pale. I'll be all right. We'll find it before it progresses any further. We will do this. Understood? Yeah. Yeah, let's finish this.
Are you all right? Sure. Them? Not so much. Show me. Leave it. We've got bigger problems. Look. Oh my god. What is this? They were collecting food here. Fuel. Water. Man, look at this. They were hoarding supplies here. Wow. My god. The GRE built this place for some people to survive the plague. <laughs> like the Ark. The Ark? Noah's Ark. From the Bible. Only there, the goal was to save pairs of animals. And here? Probably just goat fuckers from the GRE. It doesn't look like it's for regular people. Nope, selfish assholes. It doesn't look like anyone made it here. The virus spread more quickly than they did. Justice was served. Waltz was headed this way for sure. He knew it contained everything he needed for survival. We have to find him. You see? Good time. Wasted opportunities tend to backfire on you. Gentlemen. Noah, stay out of this. Your clowns take orders from you. I don't. Jacob? Stubborn as always. And you've always been a self-centered prick. Uh, is that supposed to hurt my feelings? I have a clear sky. No, no, wait. We're supposed to kill them. Just wait, damn it. They could prove useful what to What the walls. fuck is this bullshit? You get a bullshit. Help him! Little bird. <laughs> Just a scratch. The hangover after Frank's Rowanberry vodka is worse. <laughs> to this day, I think he didn't hide the bottle from me to teach me a lesson. I remember. I remember the first time you told me about that. <laughs> Ouch. You're lucky, kiddo. You're lucky she was with you. Otherwise... I'd have killed you. I saw the plans, Aiden. The control room is that way. Waltz must be looking for something in there. I'm going after him. Get Hakon out of here. Just get that damn key back, Aiden. Or we all die. I'm 
You'll never leave me alone here. Never. I won't leave you. I swear. I don't have to. Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway. Nothing. Aiden, come on. It's time. Don't worry. And what the? Oh, damn. It's okay. It'll pass. It hurts! I know. I know, boy. I'm right here with you. Aiden, you have to run. Where's Mia? I'll find her. I promise. Run! <sighs> I'm still looking for Waltz, Luan. I can't find any bandages. Screw that, Luan. Look for an exit and get the hell out of here. Aiden, if the missiles are launching from here, we need to find them. I'll take care of that right after I find Waltz. What? 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 What the? What are you doing? Huh? I have to get down there. What? What? What are you doing? What? This cat and mouse, Aiden. Leave. I don't want to kill you. Who's that, Mia? You brought her here? Yes. Now leave while you still can. That's my last warning. What is this all about? What do you need Mia for? She. she's alive? In a manner of speaking. But why? Why have you been torturing her like this? You really don't remember anything, do you? Give me the key and stop the missile strikes. It's already too late. <laughs> too late? The city had its chance, Aiden, years ago, before my work was destroyed. Many have died, but more will be saved. What? What the hell are you talking about? Why are you chasing me, Aiden? What do you want? I promised Mia. Promise what? Why do you keep pretending you don't know the truth? Focus, Aiden. Try to remember.
Will you cure her? I'm doing what I can. But she's weak. Much weaker than the other children. That's why she caught the virus. But you can save her, Aiden. Unless... You see, people want to stop my research. They can't see how close we are to finding a cure. Whatever happens, we must. We must Whatever happens, together. we must stick we together. Say, no. You didn't promise her. You promised me. No. 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 You tortured us! You were hurting me! And me! Uh... No, Aiden. I would never hurt my own child. Mia is my daughter, and you know that. Got you. <laughs> you won't hide. I was looking for a cure. For her, for everyone, with your help. Yes, now leave while you still can. That's why I need this key. Hey, Walt? Walt, stop! Missile launch imminent. Proceed to the nearest shelter. Walt! We need to stop it! Take one more step and I'll kill you. Give me the key. I can't. Mia needs it, Aiden. If you take it, she'll die. The missiles will level the city! There is no other way. The process must follow through to its end. I can't let that happen. Then you have to die. Why would you let you take my daughter from me? What's happening? We're running out of time. You. It's our last chance. You've always been like this, Aiden. Honest. Noble. That's why she loved you so much. It was the politicians. The GRE cowards. And noble citizens that took everything from us. They stopped my research. Turned you and all the other children out into the street. They knew these tests were our only chance. To find the cure for my daughter. For everyone. You know I want to save me. Same as you. But there's got to be another way. There is. Back off, Aiden. X-13 is her last chance. Missile launch imminent. Proceed to the nearest shelter. Why are you even trying to save a city that's caused you nothing but pain and suffering? Because that's not true! I've met good people here. Men, women, children. All fighting to stay alive. To stay human. If you really were looking for a cure, would you sentence them all to death? Would Mia want that? What would she say if she knew? Knew that everyone died because of her? You're right, Aiden. You're right. She wouldn't want this. That's why she cannot find out. Ever. Walt. Walt's 
Where is the key? You've always been special, son. Stronger than the others, but you chose to run away. Waltz, the key. I don't want to kill you. You look at the infected like they're the disease. You fight them for the last ray of dying light. Yet you can't see that we're only separated from them by a few minutes of darkness. The key is with Mia, and the machine that will finally cure her, Aiden. But you won't get near it. Enough, Waltz. We need to stop this. Give me the key, or you'll kill everyone. Do you understand? Stop! Eden! No! Mia? Go back, now! Mia, is that you? Aiden, what happened to you? Mia, the key. Without it, the city will be destroyed. Mia, you need your ventilator. I beg you. It's gone too far. Mia, hurry. You need oxygen now. Understand? Without it, I can't cure you. You've been trying to cure me for years. I don't want it anymore. Save those people, Aiden! No! 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 Oh my God! No! Mia, please, breathe, honey, please, breathe. Help me! The generator. I beg you, Mia, don't leave me, please. Is she... is she gone? Uh, Mia, fight. There you go. Fight on me. You were supposed to clear out of here, Luan. Oh, that time for your mother had bullshit, Aiden. Did you get Walt? Yes, Luan. I found Mia. And the key? It's gone. What? The key's been destroyed, Luan. Then undestroy it, Aiden. God damn it, those missiles will obliterate the city. I'm in the control room. I'll try to shut down Luan's procedure. Do it fast. It's our last hope. Nothing's happening. Fuck! Aiden, Aiden, don't do that. I can't stop it, Luan. Have the power? What if we kill the power in the city again? 
we have to get to the solar power plant. It's too far. Aiden, no. Oh, no, 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 no. There's gotta be something we can do. Launch canister. Receive your initiation. Hey, the missiles. We can detonate them before they launch with the explosives that we found in that warehouse. No! Oh, okay. Okay, that, that, that just might work. I'll go after them. Wait, Lawan, let me... Stop her, Aiden. She will destroy everything. Launch countdown procedure initiated. Aiden, I've got the explosives, but they need to be detonated manually. I... I can do this. You just have to get out of here. If she destroys X-13, you will lose everyone. Everyone you love. I'm ready to set off the explosives. Run! Is this city really worth you losing everything? Luan, I promised Frank that I wouldn't let you get... Frank kept babbling I was going to be the savior of the city. Guess this is my cue. Take an inhibitor, Aiden. You can still stop her. Save this laboratory. Save Mia while you're still human. Now, she only has you. Aiden, please, go. This is the only way to save the city. I won't let you die like this, Luan. Even if the city pays the price. But it's all I have, Aiden, don't you see? We can't both die. Just get out of here already. I can't. I'm sorry. I failed you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, Luan, I'll do this. For the last time, Aiden, get the fuck out! I won't let you die here! Ugh. survivors of the attacks go to the fish eye canteen. There the wounded are being treated and food distributed. I repeat, any survivors of the attacks Thank you. 
miracle the canteen managed to survive the disaster. Miracle? You said it. Even the bottles didn't break. But there's no one to drink. Half the city's population is buried in rubble. What's your poison? Beer, but only if it's not flat. not so easy to reach him in his gilded cage. And after the last food shortage protests, he locked himself away, shitting his pants due to the threat of mutiny. The soldiers will kill anyone who got near five kilometers to the ship. Whatever he's up to, he's got a lot of good whiskey with him. Have any of my people passed through recently? You mean a pilgrim? Why do you ask? I'm looking for a friend. Thought he was coming here. The pilgrim was here. But not anymore. Where'd he go? Wherever the road took him. Same as the rest of you. Did he find what he was looking for here? In a way, they say he was looking for his sister. But he found someone else. Much closer. And he chose to save her at all costs. So why didn't he stay? They said he was starting to change. Taking a drug that was destroying him. People like him are better off on the road 